Previously on Cyberpunk 2077. So, I went to your funeral. God, that sounds so weird to say, right? <laughs> yeah. Mama Wells, well, her heart's broken, but she's hanging in. She's tough. A lot of people showed, actually. Compo Orta sent someone, too. The guy did read from a card, but, um... <laughs> yeah, there was a... There was a lot of respect. Wish you could have seen it, Jack. Sure, you would have liked it. And for the winner, with Gunners, congratulations. Woohoo! And USA! And Good USA. job. And now, let's drink. Six Street, Six Street. And El Baskin, how many of those husbands did you have? Yeah, yeah. How many? Five. Before that time, terrible family tragedy. Hmm. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow for my nine sons. Now back to Cyberpunk 2077, episode 12. Alright, so I finally decide that I'm going to meet Takemura, see what he has to say. I mean, there's a reason why he hasn't killed me yet. In fact, I don't think he's even planning on killing me at this point, so. I'm gonna just listen to him, see what he has to say, and then hopefully decide where to go from there. Sit. Okay. You do not look so bad. Thank you. Then in the car, I doubt it you would survive. <laughs> Same. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Yeah, is it? Mm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Thanks for the that reminder. Nice talk, I guess. Mm. Not many could do what they did. You should be thankful. Okay, so what is this really about then? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Bitch, I don't even Evelyn. know who she is. What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. Mm -hmm. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. So, if you know she's gone, what makes you think I know where she is? Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Yeah. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but she showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. <laughs> you got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Okay, so. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be, so. wait. Damn. I need you. Okay. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knee. Really? The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Okay, so speak up. What will I get in return? So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that you're Nobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain 
procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. <laughs> In that case, another option. You are dying. Okay. You do not know how to save yourself. Oh, great. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is hmm. merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? Yeah. People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. People who aren't that psychopath that killed his own dad, you mean? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Not <gasps> true. He's a pawn. I oh. was thinking of one much more powerful. Like who? Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. The hell is this? Okay, it's some sort of broadcast, obviously. Listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Okay, alright, alright. Hey, Mira, Nene. Call you at the before they throw you out. He's got some fucking sense. Sorry about that. Sit your ass down. What the fuck are you doing? You're a fugitive. Remember? Shit. Last thing. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Okay. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Never say never. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. It's a good chance. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Okay, but... Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's scheme. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corpo rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Oh, sure. I was well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. <laughs> With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. Yeah. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. What makes you think? Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Oh yeah, you wanna bet? You? I would think about a plan B. 
Right. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. Okay, but when my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call in. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Okay, we'll do. I'll see you soon then. Chat. Zaffer dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. <laughs> you know, you got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. How convenient. Fuck yourself, dick wife. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. I think we're even. And I'd taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Yeah, you try to kill trust me, bro. Me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Damn. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. <laughs> any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Right, so the whole time I was arguing, I was literally by myself. No one of those people were looking at me crazy. Okay, so I do have a couple options. Either I can go and search for Evelyn or go and search for the relic creator and being that I already have Judy's phone number let me hit up Judy I'm sorry <coughs> let me hit up Judy oh my god where's the fucking phone there you go <laughs> let me hit up Judy and ask about Evelyn or I can just call Evelyn Okay, the phone didn't even ring. That's fucking weird. Let me call Judy then. Judy? That you? Yeah, buddy. Shit. Thought you were gone. No. Well, you're not alone in thinking you're dead. Thought it was game over for me. Things went as up, huh? That's an understatement. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Damn. Listen, need to find out. I really don't want to talk about her. Uh. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Mm. Wow. That's rich. Fuck it. I'm gonna meet her at Lizzie's. Because at this point... She knows where Evelyn's at, so let's give it a try. Alright, so... Why is this club fucking closed? Ayo. Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? 
Uh, yeah, you did, actually. It's been a while, but... Got a good memory for faces. Right. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She and her den. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate you. No, I'll be in and out quickly, trust me. I just need to know exactly where... Things are different here. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's daylight, but I feel a different vibe here now. Okay, let me just go over to Jews, please. Wonder why she even keeps her around. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Let it lie. Judy spread. Anyways, yeah, I kind of knew something's off. Joy toy, you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Any one could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? I hate surprises. Mm-hmm. Really feeling that sense of community right now. If you're so concerned about strays, go take care of your guest. Sue, we're not done here. Oh, she yeah, noticed me. Off. Oh. Mm. Okay. Am I interrupting you so? Give up, do you? Mm. Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. But what boxes and nomads don't seem so different. Seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside world? This is world? a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Mm. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? <laughs> what was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Okay, well, now that you seem to calm down. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? No. No, no, no. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. You fucking... Caught some lead myself, too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Do this for fun? Talking around in circles? Trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. So tell me where she is. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Excuse me? I came here with a simple question. You're the one making me desperate if I am. Maybe instead of judging, you could just tell me where she is. All right, enough. Get lost. You care so much. Find clouds. Look there. And where's clouds? Sig case on my desk got the address. Just take it and go. Whatever, Judy. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. What's clouds? 
A dollhouse. But can't say I like your chances if you don't know that much. The streets. Evelyn's there. You know this, or are you guessing? Saw it in the tarot. Now ghosts before I call the girls. Whatever. Hold on, a dollhouse? Evelyn, a regular there? Or a drone? How the fuck did you get cigarettes, bro? You're a fucking mirage, like. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Hey, look. What happened now? What am I looking at? What the fuck? That looks like Jackie. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Alright. Maybe ask them both. It's a mega building. Okay, so it's basically at my place, but on one of the higher floors, I'm assuming. Okay. Damn, negative Nancy much? Fuck. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filled. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets sore. Surprised? Hmm. No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. I agree. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horse chase. <laughs> A wild whore chase, you're funny, bro. I think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Mm. Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Of recommended name wow. Nice. Very interesting. Has a very interesting atmosphere, that's for sure. 18 plus, yep. Hopefully, this video doesn't get too crazy. Ooh, what well, the hell? Well, where we know what you're looking for. Uh. Would you care to jack into the terminal? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Right, so... Look Real question. Parker. She work here? 
Give me a moment. That pause is real. Evelyn's not available at this time. The fuck? Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Great. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. Great. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. I'm not going anywhere, am I? Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Jenny, where the fuck are you? Fuck the ah. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. You go in as a customer. Keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close fine. We'll play our own game. Fuck it. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. Is that a foreshadowing of some kind? If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Right. Now for your safe word. Samurai. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Right. Okay, so I can do Sky or Angel. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. How unique Our can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? I'll pick Sky. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Payment? How mu- <laughs> Fuck me, who cares? There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> We have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. How fucking convenient! Oh, fucking horse. Fine. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Shut the fuck up, Johnny. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.